when he first came in. He was truly amazing. I'd never seen anything like it. The way that guy can move, he was incredible. He was a big man, but he was an awesome big man. It is an understatement to say he has made quite an impression. Yoko Zuna. Watching him perform in the ring, like, holy sh wow. He walked out, it was like a stegosaurus walking out to the ring. It's like, holy sh look at this guy, you know? As a fan, I was just like, wow. I love seeing the big guy. He represented me. He came along when the WWE desperately needed a monster heel. For snake, like a big giant heel, like uh, King Kong Bundy or Abdul the Butcher. Most fans recognize that not too many guys are going to mess with a guy like Yokozuna. That's what you could see coming out of him. That was the aura of him. Kind of like Andre the Giant in a way, Yokozuna became an attraction immediately. Just waiting to see the big guys like Yokozuna coming out to wrestle, maybe cause an earthquake. And the arena just reacted to every single thing Yoko did. Vince knew what he had. You know, he had a rare killer heel. Oh, no! <laughs> but Yokozuna backstage was totally different than what the fans saw on TV. He seemed like he was always in a good mood. You know, what I remember most was that how much fun he was in the dressing room. He'd have the music going, he'd be singing in the shower. Watching Yokozuna eat was, uh, was a sight in and of itself. We have a second shrimp for 10 people with a huge amount of rice, too. We did a, a video one time with Yokozuna at a steakhouse with the chef cooking up steak and lobster and shrimp and everything for him. I noticed you, you cut up two steaks for Yokozuna. Oh. And boats of sushi. Oh, look, look at this. Look at oh, look at oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh. We cooked enough food, no kidding, for probably 20 people. And Yoko. Oh, my word. He ate the whole thing. In the case of Yokozuna, I'm sure it became that much easier for him to eat freely because there's always a pressure for pro wrestlers to look the part. His look was incumbent on him being huge. So you wonder whether or not it was semi-intentional and whether he thought, oh, let me just keep building to my size or if at some point it just becomes an unfortunate part of your lifestyle. But at that time, it was working. Yokozuna for the Macho Man Randy Savage. One of them will become the challenger at WrestleMania 9. WWE at that time was like, they were giving him the big push. Vince liked the reaction he was getting. That's what everything was based on. So obviously he was strong. That's how they moved you along the card. To get a push like that that early was a phenomenal opportunity for him. A whole family was like, we could see it become reality. Yokozuna from introduction to get to that point. I think it was a kind of a hell of a fairy tale ride for Yoko. And Yoko kind of went through it even keel. 
but there was a bit of that kid from Kansas in New York City, a little bit awestruck and looking around going, wow, I'm, I'm here. I don't think that he saw himself doing that. The Daily News wants to wrestle you. <laughs> so much happening here. And of course, the big one we're looking forward to features the World Wrestling Federation champion, Bret the Hitman Hart, squaring off against the 505-pound challenger from Japan, Yokozuna. You're going in there and you're a main eventer. Nothing prepares you for that. That's a lot of pressure. As far as Yoko went, him being the main event kind of guy, most wrestlers, I think, thought he was ready. Yokozuna. But in WrestleMania, he was a real pro in the ring. The place was already electric, you know, it was like it dropped a bomb in the ring. The crowd wants to go for it. To be on that card with the legend Hulk Hogan, I don't think that Vince would have given that opportunity to Rod or, or anybody if Vince didn't trust the person. Hulk Hogan's in the big, ring! Big. And knew that he can handle the pressure. And then all of a sudden, Yoko and Hope was traveling all over the world together. And that set up the championship match at King of the Ring. It was another moment that touches my heart. How proud I am to see one of our kids was blessed for this opportunity. And it brings me back to what we have always drilling them about hard working. You know, nothing's gonna hand it to you. Yokozuna, obviously to me, is a grand champion. I know when he became champion, he broke down. He was just happy. You know, he, he made it. See, there's a price you pay for being a wrestler. This was not supposed to happen. Whoa.